Yeah, hi there, and uh, these comments are for SR, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and you completed uh, speaking practice test number 6, and I'm going to download it right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. And let me make sure I refresh my memory of which speaking practice test this is. This is one of my independent speaking practice tests. So this is a pair choice response. What do you think is better, living on campus in dorms or living off campus in apartments? And with the statement, living off campus in a room is better than living on campus in a because it is cheaper and happier. Living off campus in a room is cheaper because I can share the room with the Okay, so you have your two points. It's cheaper and it's it's uh, more enjoy enjoy <coughs> excuse me, and more enjoyable living off campus. So you have a sharply focused topic statement around which you can develop your ideas. And with the statement, living off campus in a room is better than living on campus in the dormitory because it is cheaper and happier. Okay. Living off campus in a room is cheaper because I can share the room and with the roommates and uh, I can control my expenditures. For example, if the room rent is $1,000, if it is shared among four members, it will come down to $250, which is cheaper. Good, good example. So you're showing how you can save money by living together with someone off campus. And living in a room is uh, happier because I can do... Now, I, living in a room is happier. To me, when you say happy, that's got to be some type of living thing. Typically not, not like um, an object. An object can't really be happy. It can't experience emotion. So you might say living off campus is more enjoyable, maybe. You might say instead of happier. A person is happy. An animal can be happy. The roommates whom I like, and I can cook the food which I like. So this will make me happier. For example, if I like Indian food, I can cook it by myself and eat it happily. For these two reasons, uh, I would like to live in a room off campus. That's pretty good. You, I think you have a fairly strong organization uh, of ideas. So let me look at the rubrics here for just a second, try to give you a score here. I, I think that was a pretty good response. You have a good natural pace. You're not pausing too much. Uh, you're fairly easy, I think, to understand. So uh, I'd like to see you work a little bit more on your tone. Try to vary your intonation a little bit more than you're doing. But still, that was a good response. I'm going to put you at 24 points out of 30, 3.16 out of 4 on this particular practice test. So you had good control, I think, of your grammar, your vocabulary. You had a clear organization. You gave examples to help support uh, your ideas.